Hello, everyone. Here's a quick look at the top trending international news stories making headlines today. If you post an interesting comment during this update, we may add it at the bottom of the screen. Hundreds of strollers and car seats have been set up in the center city of Lviv. Officials say it is a memorial in honor of the hundreds of children killed in the weeks since Russia began invading Ukraine. Hundreds more have been wounded. The memorial is titled The Price of War, and Ukrainian officials say it will remain in Lviv as long as the war continues, and more strollers will be added if more children are killed or harmed. U.S. President Joe Biden and China President Xi Jinping spoke for nearly two hours Friday, and the U.S. sent a clear message to Beijing. Supporting Russia could be costly. According to the White House, Biden said Chinese firms would pay a major price if China backs Russia. Two U.S. officials recently said Putin called on China to provide his country with financial help and military support, including drones. Analysts say Biden's call to Xi could be an attempt to show the relationship between China and Russia may not be as strong as Putin thinks. According to Russian state TV network, at least five servicemen have been killed in battles in Ukraine, including one of their top commanders of the 331st Guards Airborne Regiment. The unit is considered one of Russia's elite units. But sources in Ukraine say 320,000 Ukrainian citizens have come back to their country to fight against elite Russian forces. Most of them are men, but women are returning as well to fight. Actor and former California governor Arnold Schwarzenegger sent a message for Russians on Twitter saying, this is not the war to defend Russia that your grandfathers or your great grandfathers fought. This is an illegal war. His tweet asked Russian citizens and soldiers to resist their country's disinformation which accuses Ukraine of being run by Nazis. He says he hopes his message about the atrocities committed by the Russian government and military will influence those on the front line. The Twitter post already has over 20 million views. This is a picture of a group of African students who say they are trapped in Kherson, Ukraine and are calling out for help on social media. The leader of the group says they are from different countries, Cameroon, Ghana, Nigeria, Senegal. They have no food. They have received no response from their embassies and many of the students are suffering from trauma. He says, we are not fighters. This is not our war. It is not our fight. Many of the students say they are going to try to make it to the border, even if it means losing their life.
If you want to send money to someone in Ukraine, PayPal has a new way to help. The company decided to expand its services from Ukrainian accounts and allow them to send and receive money from friends and family for free. And they will be able to transfer money to credit cards, debit cards, and external bank accounts. Previously, users in Ukraine could only use PayPal to send money out of the country. The new changes will last through the end of June. This is Hassan al Khalaf. He's 11 years old and he did something incredible. The boy traveled more than 600 miles alone from Ukraine to Slovakia. All that he had with him was a bag and his passport along with a telephone number written on his hand. Hassan's mother made the decision to send her son on a train to Slovakia so she could stay behind to focus on caring for her elderly mother. But good news. We have learned that the boy made it to Slovakia to meet his older brothers and sisters. And now his mother has also arrived safely. Sign One News will be broadcasting international news updates in ISL every Sunday. A big thank you to our Sign One News app supporters. You help make this broadcast happen. You can download the Sign One News app by heading to the App Store or Google Play Store on your smartphone. See you next week. Bye bye.